This video shows a short overview of Sitka's Evergreen. Evergreen is a robust open source integrated library system comprised of several modules, including circulation, cataloging, acquisitions, booking, course reserves, reports, and administration. Library staff access Evergreen by logging into the staff client in an internet browser. The BC Libraries Cooperative supports Sitka's Evergreen used in the Chrome web browser. A high-speed internet connection is required as the staff client continuously communicates with off-site servers over the internet to retrieve and save data. In the event that the internet is down, staff are able to use offline circulation to capture circulations until services are restored. The staff client is tab and menu driven. The menus across the top provide access to the different modules. You can right click on a menu option and select Open Link in New Tab to open the page in a new tab instead of replacing the one you're currently working in. Staff can create toolbars using the browser bookmark bar to provide shortcuts to regularly used functions. Throughout the staff client, staff will encounter the function bar, which currently comes in two styles. On the function bar, staff can find paging options, the Actions menu with actions specific to the screen they're working on, and the Show Grid Options button, which allows staff to adjust the grid and display those columns relevant to their work and hide the columns that are not needed. An item is checked in by scanning the item barcode in the check-in interface. If overdue fines are owed on the item, a notification will appear in red when the item is checked in. A number of actions can be performed on items in this screen via the Actions menu. Check-in modifiers allow staff to auto-print hold notices, suppress hold notices, update the inventory date, and more. Staff can also change the effective date to a date in the past to backdate check-in. This can be useful in scenarios such as checking in items that were returned overnight through the book drop. An item is checked out to a patron by scanning the item barcode into the checkout interface within the patron's record. Evergreen uses a number of factors, including the circulation policies set for the library and the library's closed days to determine what due date to assign the item. Staff also have the option to select a specific due date before scanning the item to handle uncommon exceptions to the normal circulation rules. A checkout receipt can be printed for the patron or sent via email. Evergreen also has a browser-based self-check, which libraries can set up to allow patrons to check out items themselves. Post-secondary institutions and K-12 schools often have the majority of patron records loaded directly into the Sitka database at the start of the school year or term. Public and special libraries generally register patrons as they come into the library. The Evergreen Patron Registration Form has required fields indicated in yellow and the ability to determine which other fields display on a per-library basis. As the Patron Registration Form is filled in, the system checks for patrons with matching information to help prevent duplicating patrons. Patrons can be retrieved using their barcode number or by searching for them. Staff can search their specific library's catalog or search other libraries and federations or the entire consortium by specifying the appropriate library in the library selector. You can type in the library name or code, but make sure to then select it from the drop-down menu to apply it. Searches in the staff catalog can be done using the keyword search, numeric search, mark search, browse, or shelf browse. On the keyword search, clicking the three dots will display additional filters that can be used in your search. Items should be added to existing matching records in the catalog whenever possible. If the correct record does not exist in the catalog, it can be added by batchloading vendor records, retrieving records via Z3950, 
or by doing original cataloging. Each library has a browser-based public catalog allowing their patrons to search the library's collection. For libraries participating in Interlibrary Connect, the public catalog can be scoped to their particular library or the entire ILC zone, depending on the library's preference. The public catalog is available in both English and French. Through my account, patrons can view their items out, items on hold, renew items, place holds, create lists, and more. Evergreen has an extensive acquisitions module, allowing libraries to track their spending, create selection lists, create purchase orders that can be sent to vendors via EDI, and create invoices or receive invoices from vendors via EDI. At the end of the library's fiscal year, staff can run year-end closeout to close out their old funds, move remaining encumbrances forward, and create funds for their next fiscal year. Serials functions are accessed through the Serials menu in the Staff catalog. Staff can create subscriptions, add distributions, define captions, predict future issues, and receive items in a single tabbed interface. Serials subscriptions are added to existing catalog records. If a record doesn't already exist in the catalog, you can load a vendor record, bring it in via Z3950, or create a new record. Evergreen's booking module allows staff to create records for non-bibliographic items, such as laptops, hotspots, and projectors, and circulate them to patrons. Through library staff, patrons can reserve items for particular periods which can be useful if a piece of equipment is needed for a particular class or event. Evergreen's Course Reserves module allows staff to create course lists and temporarily update call numbers and attributes, like circulation modifier, for items. Evergreen restores items to their original call numbers and item attributes when the course is archived. Students can search and browse course reserves in the public catalog, and view the items on reserve for their course. Local system administrators have a number of functions available to them to customize Evergreen for their library. The settings in the library settings editor allow libraries to control things such as what fields appear in the registration form, the prefixes used for barcodes auto-generated through batch loading or acquisitions, how lost items are handled, and much more. A filter makes the settings searchable. Each library is able to set their regular open and closed hours through the organizational units. As well, unusual closed days, such as statutory holidays, can be set in the closed dates editor so that the system knows not to set items due on those days. Evergreen has a very powerful reporter. All staff requiring access to view or run reports must first sign a privacy waiver. Staff can create their own report templates or use the many report templates created by co-op support. Reports can be run as one-off reports as needed, or can be set up as recurring reports. The report output can be accessed through the reporter interface, or can be emailed to applicable staff. As an open source project with an active worldwide community, Evergreen continues to change and grow as community members and organizations continue to contribute time, skills, and money to develop new functionality. Thank you for watching this video. For more information on a specific module or function of Evergreen, please see our additional videos and documentation. For more information on Sitka and the BC Libraries Cooperative, please visit us at bc.libraries.coop.